Hi guys, Alex the Vegan Gamer, and we're playing El Shaddai. So right now I was curious, I actually went on Wikipedia, had a little bit of reading to do, um, well that I decided to do, and was trying to learn more about Ishtar, and I didn't read that much because I didn't find it that interesting to be quite honest. Uh, the only thing that kind of that I kind of remember is that she's some sort of goddess of sexuality and ah glad I was able to do that jump to reach there uh, sexuality and fertility well, at least I'm back up here and that at some point she went through many gates of hell and every single time someone would open a door to the gates of hell, she would have to take a piece of clothing off. <laughs> At some point, she was naked and pissed. So, I don't know why she's fighting with uh, Ezekiel in this game. Um, but I, the only thing I do know is I love the Ezekiel bread. So, <laughs> if you guys are hungry for some bread, go and get some of that bread. Um, yep. I'm not the area well. that much into religion and to gods and different things like that. Uh, I just think they're kind of nonsense. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go up first. They can be entertaining though when there's good stories, but... What is this way? Okay, come back down. I think I know how to do it now. I have to hurry. Great, perfect. Can I go back down this way? And it pisses me off to realize that so many people believe in imaginary characters. And so many wars happen around the world because of Proceed stories, of so. But I do love stories, so. But they need to be entertaining. And it's more fun, because when you play video games, there's stories and, and action as well. You get to be part of the story, so. But this game is a little too abstract for my liking when it comes to the story. I don't feel that attached to any character. That's good enough, okay. Oh no! <laughs> that was funny. Oh yeah. I like how it kind of pushed me over and I was like... Not moving and standing in like in one position, not even moving my arms or legs. Don't like the angle though. Ah, Alex. What were you thinking? Out of the way... Out of the way... Out of the way... What 
is this? <gasps> ah, darn it. That's good enough. Is that going to lead me to the battle? Maybe. Seems like a teleport. It is a teleport. Get rid of this guy first. Oh, maybe not. Kill his weapon. I can't see him. Need the angle. Reminds me of an amusement park. Like a ship on an amusement park. <laughs> Going from side to side. Pirate ship. What is that? New type of monster? gonna be another monster fight here. I can still have the fire of Yurgo? Yes I am. Alright. Let's do this. 
If I don't, I wait too long, it goes away. I don't run the path so it's not easy. Let's get that whipping. I like how I push the uh, big guy over. And I always have my finger on R1 to block the other guys. Long range attack. You need to be careful about this. Usually in most games it's best to attack the uh, shooters first, and in this game I can just block the mini angle. The second I click R1, I'm alright, no matter if I'm looking backwards or not. I can the other way of the elusive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And we're done with that. Okay. Oh, it makes those disappear. But I'm still gonna have to jump on them. Oof. <laughs> uh, probably should have changed weapons. Oh, this is hard. I like timing myself when I jump when you're saying go. That helps. No! H how did I miss that? <laughs> and I just said, I just said that saying go helped. Goodness. Oh, that one's in the middle. Last one's in the middle. Okay. Oh my goodness, you guys. Why don't 
don't you take a break? Yeah, I can take care of things while you're away. I mean, after all, what else am I here for? Call, if you change your mind. I'm gonna save right here, alright. Alright you guys, don't forget to save the animals, kick some monsters butt, and I will see you in the next video.